And a major sewage spill in Tuscaloosa sends raw fecal matter right into Cottondale and Hurricane Creeks. Yeah, it happened on Friday, but the city didn't tell anyone about it until today. ABC 3340's Ebony Hall is live in the newsroom with more on this story. Well, Hurricane Creek Keeper says, had the city maintained the overgrown right-of-way, the block sewer line could have been fixed so sooner. He also says the city's failure to notify the public of the problem up front put people's health at risk. You can look at it right here. And what it is, John Wathen says, is feces from a major sanitary sewer overflow. As the Hurricane Creek Keeper, Wathen documents pollution. He posted his latest findings online. There's toilet paper, feminine products, feces, there's all matter of toiletry in the woods all around this site. That all has to flow through here. The city found out about the overflow Friday at 5.30 p.m. Saturday morning, officials asked the friends of Hurricane Creek to notify area residents. Meanwhile, Wathen says people were unknowingly swimming in raw sewage. You know, hindsight is 20-20. Um, we are in the process of looking at our notification process right now. City Clerk Tracy Croom says this week they will tell people to stay out of the water until things get cleared up. Well, how much sewage do you think got out? We don't know. Uh, we are still calculating that. Um, we are testing. We are sampling. She says workers found prohibited items blocking the sewer line. They have repaired the line, but only a series of big rains can fix this. Now the gray water has reached the Black Warrior River. What does that mean for the Black Warrior River? That means that the Black Warrior River is also becoming toxic with this. Now sources tell us construction debris was blocking that line. Kroon would not confirm, nor would she deny that. Whatever the case, the Tuscaloosa Police Department will now investigate to determine if someone sabotaged the line. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Ebony Hall, ABC 3340. Raw sewage continues to flow through a creek where people swim in Tuscaloosa, and the city is defending its late notice to the public. ABC 3340's Isaiah Harper has been following up on this story. He joins us now live from Hurricane Creek with the very latest. Well, some people say they still are not aware of the dangers in the creek. As a matter of fact, when we arrived, there was a Hispanic man and his baby in the water because he could not read the sign in English. So we gave him a sheet of paper to write a warning in Spanish. Raw fecal matter still drifts in Hurricane Creek. This is the first time that we have ever had to contaminate this many miles of this stream and post it off limits to human contact. Creek keeper John Wathen is angry. I have a right to be angry. This is my yard. The city discovered a nearby sewer pipe overflowing Friday evening. Saturday morning, the city asked creek keepers to spread the word. But it was not until after that official warnings were posted. Many of my friends have children who would have been playing in this water had I not warned them, and the city did not. The city says, Because it was the weekend, we didn't have access to the property owners. We didn't know who to contact. And so we called friends of um, Hurricane Creek to ask them to assist us. Right now, the city is waiting on test results to determine the remaining level of contamination. Our testing looked pretty good that we did from yesterday. Um, but we still have called in an independent company just to confirm our results. Investigators believe the pipe that caused the sewage backup was sabotaged, intentionally clogged with construction material. But creek keepers say they've reported manholes left open since January. I don't buy the intentional sabotage story. I think that that is a way for the city to cover their track. Well, the city says it is encouraging people not to go into the water until they determine it is safe. And they say the Alabama Department of Environmental Management has been notified. Reporting live in Tuscaloosa, Isaiah Harper, ABC 3340. CBS 42's Kimberly Rankin spent the day finding out why what goes down your toilet is now floating in those creeks. John Wathen is besides himself with anger after raw sewage flows into his beloved Hurricane Creek for nearly 24 hours causing a serious health hazard. This particular line drains Davis Emerson Middle School. There's kids out there with strep throat, viruses, colds. They go to the bathroom. All of that comes down through the creek. And even scarier, it was a full day before the organization Friends of Hurricane Creek could notify the surrounding residents 
and even longer until the city notified people to stay out of the water. These kids were completely submerged in this water, swimming. They were spitting it out of their mouths. Their dogs were playing in it. And the whole time, there are millions of gallons of raw sewage pouring over these children. The sewage is already in the water, but the scariest part for experts is there's no way to fix the problem. They just have to wait for Mother Nature to come in, wash the rest of the sewage into the creek, and then down the banks. There's not enough antiseptic to put on the ground up there. The woods are thoroughly saturated. They're, it's standing on top of the ground in layers up there. So without rain, it's just going to trickle down through here for months like this. We have posted and asked people to stay out of the water until we notify them that the creek is clean. The city of Tuscaloosa has launched an investigation to find out how the large object ended up in the drain. They believe it could have been done intentionally. Reporting in Cottondale, Kimberly Rankin, CBS 42 News. Now, if you've noticed anyone shoving objects into Tuscaloosa city drains, you are urged to call the Tuscaloosa Police Department.